flickering and all that because, I, I mean, you know, I, you gotta give the respect to him. Like he's, yeah. he's definitely been on his grind. I believe he's been attending try points like, you know, every Fridays yeah. or kind of like religiously in a way. Absolutely, yeah. He so, had a big run at Riptide too. Especially oh yeah. in that clip on stream at Riptide, shout out. So it's <laughs> one of the sickest clips of the entire tournament. Yeah. Uh, and I believe Ice Knight is number three yep. on our PR. Number three in Chicago. Yeah. Cool, okay. So, so this is definitely gonna be a, if this, if this goes to Sir Dank, it's gonna be a huge player deficit. But um, you know, honestly, I don't even know how to like how to begin to describe this matchup. Like, it's very <laughs> volatile, fast fallers. But uh, I think having the advantage there with uh, Water Shuriken and uh, Shadow Sneak, another good one. That uh, another one of good Greninja tools that he has. But Sir Dank definitely gonna have to be a, uh, a lot of playing on position. Yeah. And uh, advantage state for sure. Definitely going to be the uh, telltale sign. Already looking pretty good here. 95%, 100% on Ice yeah. Knight starting off here. But Considering that this is our second Captain Falcon <laughs> of, of the day so yeah. far, we've cast it. <laughs> you can definitely tell Sir Dank and Arctite, like, although they are aggressive Falcon players, mm -hmm. they both have different goals at the end of the match. Exactly. Like, they both have their motives and how they're going to take stocks. But you know what? Like they're very good players. Mm -hmm. Still though, Ice Knight bringing it back though, back at even percent. Still getting the catch with the upbeat. Didn't even hit the ground. Just waited for him to. Uh, I think he jumped there really quick, but. Yeah. Ice Knight slowly catching up in percentage here in the upper. Not gonna take Sir Dang's first off just yet here. It's a little, little bit of a doozy here, trying to recover safely, but again, uh, Ice Knight having full control of stage and taking mm -hmm. Sir Dank's first stock. Good catch on the roll there with that forward air from uh, Ice Knight. Definitely wanted to catch the drift there with the Hydro Pump there off stage. You know, that's a big uh, tool that Greninja uses as well. Kind of underrated, but oh, getting the gentleman jab off the side of Sir Dank, but, but uh, Hydro Pump. Yeah, Such definitely. Such a good tool off yeah. stage to catch you lacking. If you're jumping and you're drifting in, Definitely going to send you away. It's kind of just like Mario Flood, pretty much, but yeah. it's a really good tool that they have uh, to use at their disposal. Ice Knight does know how to, you know, use Greninja fully to his capability, mm. and, and you know, he's definitely made runs before. You know, he has a Greninja like no other. So I would not be surprised if this was another, you know, back and forth, mm -hmm. uh, you know, momentum that we got going on here. Good wait. Wanted that Raptor boost in, but Ice Knight not falling for it. Getting the down tilt into the up smash, the bread and butter. Greninja confirm, They're sitting at 26%. Really in a good spot right now, but getting the drop from the down air into the knee. And the, the taunt. taunt. Oh, hello, he just saluted you. <laughs> hello. <laughs> All right. Sir Dank with the swag right now, man. Swagging on him a little bit. That Swagging. combo was nasty. Yeah. Oh. I, I love how he, like, he also preemptively taunted. Exactly, he already knew. He, he just knew. He just, he just he knew. He just he knew. He wanted the clip. He just knew. He wanted the clip. You're going to see that on Twitter <laughs> later. You're going to yeah. see that. Still though, setting it even percent now. Kind of a back and forth. Oh, yeah. Almost getting the downer set up there from that up B. He's matching Ice Knight now, but this is still a little bit risky because he is off stage and Ice Knight loves to edge guard. Mm -hmm. So you got to be very careful when the oh. back air is going to take it. Not quick enough with the uppie, though. Waiting with that lingering back air off stage. Yeah. Taking that first game. That was such a... Sir Dang, though, hats off to you in that first game. Yeah. Man. That was a disgusting Un second stock yeah. that you took from Ice Bay. Absolute Fortunately, the, the clip was not uh, game worthy. So exactly. No no, no game one to you, but you know what? <laughs> at, at least you still got a clip. Exactly. You can go home happy if you lose this set, but yeah. not gonna jinx anything right now. The good thing is about top 32 again, these are all best of fives. So, you know, everyone still has that like second chance before, you know, it's like 2-1 and then you feel like you're you're struggling. Exactly. So. Still a lot of leeway, a lot of momentum shifts to be had. But running into Kalos game two. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super good for Ice Knight here. Considering that, you know, Ice Knight could definitely stall like on the walls of Kalos. Yeah, wall cling. The wall jumps and all that. Uh, I believe Falcon could also do the same thing, honestly. Falcon, yeah, Falcon and uh, Greninja have wall jumps. Oh. But uh, Ice Knight also he can could, wall like, cling as well. Yeah, he could just cling. He could sit there. He could just camp it if he wanted to. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a little I, insane. Yeah. Didn't capitalize off the tech there for Sir Dank, but Sir Dank coming back with a down air and the up smash of his own. Almost getting the Hydro Pump there, but a little bit too late. Getting the Falcon Kick, sending him off stage. Right there, the wall cling. There you go. Yeah, there waiting, is. Is, waiting out his offstage option. Yeah, it's definitely going to be like the most beneficial move 
against Sir Dink, especially if he's going to fish, um, you know, like low, especially like off stage for certain moves. Mm -hmm. You know, Ice Knight could use it to his advantage and just kind of outplay Sir Dink where he wants those moves. Exactly. Oh, nice wait. No tech from the back here. They're off yeah, the wall clean. Sir Dink caught it, knew that from the first time that he was going to sit down there in the same exact spot, did it the second time and capitalized. And catching the drift back down to stage, Ice Knight getting that down smash there. Evening up the stocks, evening up the percent. Yeah, I believe Sir Dink is now, um, honestly, like already catching up to Ice Knight here, trying to match his tempo, trying to keep the game going strong here. Needing an answer back, though. It's both pretty much even percent still. Wanting that down air, though. Off stage with the up B. Let's see if he can capitalize on this ledge trap situation, but. Yeah, not too much. Not not getting too much damage off of there, but sure, Dank. Okay. Preemptively shooting for the they, up smash. Yeah. But, you know. Sometimes you gotta go for it. <laughs> exactly. With the scoop hitbox. Oh, yeah. A little bit forgiving, but. Yeah. I forgot Falcon has a scoop there. Yeah. Trying to catch him jumping with that nair, but. Sir Dink getting that grab. Wanted to catch it with the uppy on the platform. That was smart. But. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Sir Dink missing that. Uh, but Ice Knight played a little bit of footsies here, just, you know, looking for those straight hits. Because, again, uh, Sir Dink is reaching, you know, um, the higher percentage. And so is Ice Knight. Considering he's at 139%. And Dash Tag is going to take Ice Knight's second stock here. Off the top on Kalos. It did a lot of damage there. But 130% off the wow. top with the four there. Catching him the drift back. I feel, like, up air. I, I feel like Greninja is such like a like an underrated oh, so character. Oh, okay, getting the down air. Never mind what I said. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he was quick on the draw yeah. with how he wanted to end that game really quick right there. That that was oh, man. surprising. I I was not paying attention. Damn. As I was saying, <laughs> um, I feel like Greninja is an underrated character, and but the way that Ice Knight uh, plays Greninja, he seems very like. Uh, high damage output. Yeah. So you mean like sure. you you wouldn't really expect that, especially like out of Greninja. He just seems you know like stealthy, and you know. But the way again, like the way that uh, you know Ice Knight knows exactly what to fish for, he has that like correct yeah. damage output. He, with with Serdank being uh, or Falcon being the rushdown character that he is with the speed and the fast faller, yeah. like speed, he's able to cover a lot of Serdank's options in neutral. So yeah. it's beneficial for him with the speed, but. He's got to be a bit more preemptive this time around because Sir Dank, man, he caught him lacking off stage right there. Yeah, so. definitely. I mean, you know, Sir Dank's like, you want to be fast, I can be fast too. Exactly. I mean, realistically, both of these characters are pretty fast-paced. Again, like the way that Ice Knight is moving with Greninja and, you know, Falcon by himself, he is pretty fast. Yeah. In the driver's seat right now, 112% sitting right now on Ice Knight. So... To him, that's probably nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like he, he's already going to find all of it pretty soon. Unless his first stock goes to Sir Dank here at 131, sitting on the Ice Knight. Good catch on the dash attack, though. I think he's doing well with uh, with dash attack and downstone being really good combo starters for Greninja. Yeah. It's really crucial that you punish those once they, uh, once they come out, but... Yeah, 166 isn't a great spot for Ice Knight. Still living off the up air. 188%. Yeah. We're living, but another up air sealing the first stock. Only at 64%, so. Looking pretty clean for yeah. Sir Dank here. Um, again, he's got a pretty good lead here. You know, already finding some percentage on Ice Knight and the oh. double dare. It's a 75%. Literally 96% unanswered. 108. Oh. It's just, it's going up. And Ice Knight finally is clinging to that percentage that he's finding off of Sir Dink, but Sir Dink already responding with a jab. You can see there in the player cam, he's shaking his head, needing an answer back. Getting that down tilt and the up smash. Hopefully this might be the reset stock here for him, but yeah. 123%, he doesn't have a whole lot of room for error right now. Yeah, although Ice Knight has taken Sir Dink's first stock, I feel like, you know, Sir Dink obviously still has a whole stock advantage here, so he's got to play his card safe, but 155%, we've seen Ice Knight live these before, so it might not mm -hmm. be a surprise at all. And again, the damage is just racking up so mm -hmm. much. Getting the rage. Getting his mileage with the rage stock right there, but 53%, you know, this isn't impossible. Just a bit more of a hill to climb for him, but still 63%. Needing a good ride in his vantage state right now to get him back in this game, maybe even up the stocks. 
Yep, definitely. Eyesight just trying to catch up in percentage lead. or something to just get a, a combo string going on here, but Sir Dang is being very careful with the way he's playing right now and trying to find some loose hits here. Oh, waiting for the trip to the... Catching the down air coming ah. back down with the up smash. Yeah. That was the answer he needed. Yeah, catching Sir Dang's landing there. Uh, we got, you know, last stock situation here, but again, Eyesight does have a 60... 90% deficit here, so Sir Dank is going to try to clean up this last stock at 0%. Catching him so many times, too, with the up B off the Nair and off the dash attack. Such a good option. Right there with the jump up, too, with up B. Yeah, this is looking... That has to be so stale right now. This is so, <laughs> this is so scary for Ice Knight right now. Ooh. Hitting max rage so soon, and... Gentlemen, Jack, Jack? Really? Oh, okay. I was going to say, there's no <laughs> way. Like, I know Falcon kills, but not like that. Yeah. Two up airs coming out from Ice Knight. Not too much there. Could get up attack, attack though from yeah. Sir Dank. That's tough. Not yet. Not okay. One seventy percent. We've seen Ice Knight live to these percentages. Still so close. Wanting to dash back into the grab back throw, but up throw. Up throw? Not gonna kill. Yeah. This might be. Oh, the up air there. dodge though coming out, getting killed with the up air off the top. Yeah. Sir Dank. Still keeping a good lead. Yeah, he's up. He's up 2-1. And uh, we're going to be going to a game four here. It's not so easy as, you know, it's not so easy as I said probably thought, mm -hmm. you know. You definitely got to gotta be a little more, maybe a little more aggressive, a little more tactical. Um, yeah. I, I feel like he's also giving Sir Dank too much space. Exactly. Sir Dank's catching a lot of his approach options as well, like super well. With up B, dash attack, catching his get up options from ledge. And, you know, Ice Knight really needing to mix it up just a little bit more to uh, be able to get the, have that mileage to go the distance. Yeah, definitely. But running game four, getting the down throw into knee. Or, uh, was it there to knee? Totally missed it, but still. It's all good. 48% starting off here in town and city. Nice kind of attack, catching the landing though from Ice Knight with that Nair. Getting the flash hit of How smash. did that even hit? This is the scoop effect. Yep. Plot armor. Sir Dang plot armor. Yep. Oh, I believe we're also, we also got a stage switch here, or were we always on Town and City? No, this was the uh, last one was PS2. Oh, so okay. We didn't yeah. get a. Uh, so maybe Ice Knight does feel more comfortable here. Yeah. Uh, considering that, again, you know, Town and City does have the triplets, it has the, the, the switcheroos and all of that. So maybe this is a little bit more like a tempo again, uh, longest stage. So yeah. maybe this could ho hopefully help him more uh, to even like maybe close the gap, even though it is the longest stage. I was gonna say he might need to uh, get that distance a little bit to have a little bit more time to reset, have that uh, right there, seal on that stock with that F yeah. smash. But uh, getting the up <laughs> smash, okay, answering right back the clap back <laughs> from Sir Dang. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, the, the stage length definitely gonna be useful for those resets, you know. Needing to get out of disadvantage, creating more space, definitely going to be beneficial for both these players. Sir Dink is ready to send Ice Knight home with that O Smash coming out. That was honestly Man. an incredible like option coming out. But again, Just uh, swinging on each other right now. This is both the reason why they're here, though. In top 32, winners round two, trying to get you know into that final bracket. Getting that Hydro Pump, letting him linger just a little bit longer in the air, but getting the tall I, or a uh, high up B, not killing. Yeah. He honestly would not have been able to see that because of the layover. Like, we would have not been yeah. able to catch that. <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to catch her thing on that platform, though, but getting the tech, almost getting the shadow sneak there, but getting... Oh, yeah, he definitely Ooh. wanted that Darren Self smash, but... Unfortunate from Sir Dank, you know, being a little bit too greedy there. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, he's not going to pay the price just yet because he's still sitting at 127%. And again, the damage is building up on Ice Knight's second stock here at 127%. Ooh, getting that Shadow Seek the second time around, almost killing. Yeah, that was very clever coming from Ice Knight. Again, uh, you know, they're both at like even percents here. So they're just going back and Weak forth. Weak dash attack killing off the side. <laughs> Weak hit of dash attack. Wow. <laughs> And down smash. And getting it this round, you know what? Back and forth, back okay. and forth. It's, like it's like a game <laughs> of tennis right now. It's going back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. But now is the time to shine for Sir Dang. This is Ice Knight's winner's bracket stock right now. So 
Yeah, Sir Dick is currently untouched right now. Never mind, as, as I jinx it. Um, Spoke too soon, complicated <laughs> curse. You know what, yeah, you're not <laughs> wrong. But this could be Ice Knight's last game if, you know, if Sir Dick is able to just fully commit. Ooh, almost getting, dashing back with a dash attack, but still off stage getting the low back here. Yeah, I think not quite. super low for that. That would have been super dangerous and almost yeah. got to the up smash, but... Oh, no tech off the what? platform catching the down air. The pop off two coming from Sir Dang. Man. That is such a huge win. Big win for Sir Dang. Number, number three in Chicago man. for number 14 in Chicago. That is a huge, Upset huge... city today, man.